lovely people welcome back or welcome for the first time either way i'm so happy you're here because today we are leaving the big city and going to a small mountain village in japan that is so picturesque that it is widely known as japan's fairy tale village this place is shirakawa go which is actually a unesco world heritage site it's very remote so it took me some time some effort and two different buses to get here but it's going to be beautiful and I think it's going to be worth it. Let's go! Here we are in Shirakawa Go. It's really cold and I wish that I brought some warmer clothes, but it's okay. We're going to be walking around a lot to explore and hopefully I'll warm up a bit while walking. Anyway, we only have five hours here, so let's go explore this beautiful historic mountain village. Shirakawago's main attraction is the Ogimachi village, which is where we are right now. This village is surrounded by mountains, and due to the resulting geographic isolation, it developed its own unique style of architecture. Most of the buildings are gasho style buildings, which have a large, steep thatch roof which resembles hands folded in prayer. At the information desk, I learned that currently over 600 people still live in this village. Let's go check out the river. Did you know that the name Shirokabogo literally means the village of the white river? Let's break it down. Shira means white, kawa is river, and the suffix go marks it as a town or village. Now let's go to the observatory that looks down over the entire village. If you Google Shirokabogo, I guarantee that most of the images you will see on Google Images were taken from that observatory. And most of them were probably taken in the winter because all the houses look so picturesque covered in snow. There's no snow on the houses right now, but I still think it's going to be absolutely beautiful. So let's go up to the observation deck. Here we are at the top and there's a gift shop as well as a few kinds of food being sold including churros, steamed meat buns, and smoothies. I'm going to eat later so for now let's explore the gift shop and see what we have in this little shop on top of the hill. Let's go inside. There's lots of different souvenirs, keychains, there's ninja keychains, there's character keychains, there's Shirokawago keychains, there's, there's fish, they have everything. Like most gift stores in Japan, they even have sweets and look at these little Shirokawago sweets, they are so cute. This bag, beautiful. Sake, of course. These magnets are so cute! I wish I bought one! Look at them! The guest show style houses! Puzzles! I used to do so many puzzles with my family as a kid. 
these are so cute the snow globe i love this this is probably my favorite thing in this store and the spoons handmade spoons and bowls these artisan wooden spoons and bowls these houses okay these are so cute it looks like a little birdhouse but i don't think it is we have these traditional hats as well as some fabric hats i'm in the market for a new hat and i thought this one was super cute however it turned out to be too big on my head so that was a little disappointing anyway let's leave the gift shop and actually go and see the view right this way Here we go! I'm so excited! Wait, what? As it turns out, this part of the view was already taken over by some tour company and they didn't let me go on it without paying. But that's okay because you can't take over all of nature and there's plenty of room to go see the view. So let's just step to the side and go see it. Look at this view! The little houses, they look like gingerbread houses, even though it's not winter. They remind me of gingerbread houses. I can really see why this place is known as the fairy tale village. It really does look like something out of a fairy tale, and that is largely because of the uniqueness of the architecture. And it's so cool to think about the history behind it. This unique architecture that developed due to the geographic isolation caused by the mountains. And now we have this beautiful World Heritage Site that everyone can enjoy. I'm so happy to be here. I'm starting to get kind of hungry, so let's head back down the mountain and look for something to eat in this tiny village. First, let's take a moment to admire the sun shining in the sky. It's a very cloudy day today and take one last moment to admire the view before we head down back to the village all right here we go and here we are back on the ground Let's go see what food they have here. There's lots of beef products because Hida beef is famous in this area. And for some reason, there's also a lot of ice cream. And people were eating the ice cream even though it's really cold. I found only one sit-down restaurant and they only had udon, which I'm not a big fan of, so I decided to look in these little stores until I found a snack, which I did. Eventually, I did find a snack. I chose this crunchy looking snack, uh, which is like a brown sugar snack. It was very sweet, very crunchy, and it was delicious. It wasn't exactly what I was craving. I would have liked to have a hot meal, but in such a small place, there were not many options. And I am a vegetarian, and so there weren't really many options for me, but that's okay. Let's go cross this bridge and see what's on the other side.
It looks like there's some more beef over here, which is not surprising. I'm really cold, so let's go inside this gift shop over here and warm up a little bit. While we're in here, of course, we can look at the adorable and beautiful things for sale. And the best part is, I even found this heater that I can stand by for a little while. These are so cute! Let's cross the bridge again and see if we can find a cafe on the other side. I'm really cold and feeling kind of tired by now, so if I could find some coffee, that would be great. And right here, I finally did find some coffee. So let's go inside this cute cafe. Here's my coffee and it even came with a chocolate and a biscuit. Eventually, I left the cafe, and pretty soon it was time to leave Shirakawago itself. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope that you'll check out some of my past episodes and subscribe to see more episodes every week. Please let me know what you thought in the comments, and I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful day. Bye!